Hello and welcome back to Battle 12. On the last episode we had not only technical issues but Alan breaking into Shigetsugu's house but finally you know calming down enough for conversation. Though to be fair we've only just began those uh, diplo diplomatic, I was gonna say diplomacy, uh, you know we'll see how things go basically. But we may as well just start straight off, really. So, I start to fret over just how much she can gleam from the tiniest bit of information. He is pretty smart. Still, his statement proves that he can even he makes mistakes. Hearing him assume the wrong gender, just as I did, serves a bit of relief. Unless he thinks it's you, specifically. Oh ho, apparently, number three got a good beat up. Sorry. Got a good beat up, what? Anyway, apparently number three got beat up good. So, good that he won't be moving for some time. Number 11 seems to be in cahoots with him, so I doubt she'll go off on her own in, in the meantime. Sorry, old man. I didn't exactly... I don't exactly like to be the predictable type. Huh? <laughs> Immediately after hearing that voice, I feel my body gets... Oh. <clears throat> oh, that's here. Nice, I feel my body, it's in flying towards the wall. Luckily for me, it was the, the wall where one of Shigetsugu's coats was hanging. So, it, it felt good. So it, it cushioned my impact for me. The culprit number 11, she made her way in and knocked me aside straight away. Woo! A fan of this CG, to be fair. Hard to say, I'm not, to be fair. T time to party. Alan versus. Uh, wait, were you here the whole time? I just got here. Odette versus Alan, let's go. The sights are locked on Alan. Surely, he holds the upper hand based on physical. Uh, physical build alone. What? No. I'm assuming she does. Doesn't stop her from kicking at, uh, at him like a bunch of. Uh, fucking bo uh, bo uh, Bronco in the narrow hallway, though. I should call for help. I should, but can't bring myself to move. I'm not like Alan. The fear I have towards her it, uh, in the dream world pales in comparison to how I feel now. This is someone who takes pleasure in harming others. Oh, CG changed. She's smiling now. I think either that or I'm just going crazy. It's entirely possible that she'll target me if I even make the slightest move or raise my voice. That terrifies me. I don't even have it in me to try and negotiate with her. Oh. He, the fight's about to begin. Anyway. Hmm. Guess that, those muscles just aren't for show. Alan is no slouch either. I'm not quite sure how to describe his fighting style. I'm assuming a homebrew. He keeps fighting, uh, finding opportunities to strike back at, after dodging and parrying. I can tell how powerful each of her blows are based on the loud smacks heard when Alan blocks each one. Yeah, these CGs are pretty good. Neither were able to score a direct hit on each other. As long as... So it's like a 2D stage in a, in a fighting game. Yeah. Anyway. As long as... And this long and narrow hallway doesn't allow them to <laughs> move sideways. So they... So they pressure one another without moving from their initial positions. I'm here to get a scoop on the geezer's target. Oh, uh, sorry, the re geezer's regret. As am I. Oh, well, let's just hug it out and work together. I mean... Kinda, yeah. I refuse. Too bad. You must have had some real dirt on you then. Excuse me? Letting your guard down now, even for a split second, can prove fatal. Even I know that much. Well, Alan seems to have done just that. And she wastes no time delivering a swift kick to his guts. Causing him to back away. That might have. This might sound weird, but I'm rooting for him this time. Uh, well, yeah, I guess because he needs the allies, doesn't he? So him needing the allies proves that he can. He might be up to teaming up with us. I need him to win for my own sake. Neither are my ally, but ally, but Alan is at least willing to talk. Yeah, see, that makes him a safer bet than the woman. 
as much as it pains me, I'm praying that number will uh, fall, will come down and save us. Ooh, a three with fight? That's how powerless I am in this situation. Alan takes another step back to create more distance between them, which effectively corners him. You aren't the kind of guy to talk uh, things on. Well, you aren't the kind of guy to talk things out under normal circumstances. That's the impression I got anyway. From what I can tell, the chick over there probably has all the info she needs to eliminate the geezer. Sounds about right. So now you run the risk of electing him uh, at the same time as her, even if you manage to get it. Uh, uh, get what you came for. I guess that you were in the process of figuring out how to deal with your little pickle. You seem like the type to reach conclusions through uh, situational evidence. That also tells me that you haven't been able to gather any information since you and your partner were, were shooed away by that little girl. Perhaps I overestimated you. Alan takes this opportunity to deliver a counterattack. I kind of I'm I'm down for this. He lands a solid hook uh, against her shoulder, which causes her to retreat back to her initial position. Man, you sure don't want to buddy up with me. I only put myself at risk of having uh, to compete with you for the right to elect him. So now, as much as I dislike anyone thinking I'd go out of my way to help these people, uh, having you retreat is my best option now. She grinned from ear to ear, then noticed that Shigetsugu uh, has managed to slink off during all of this. He left us alone? Just as I start to wonder where he snuck off to, footsteps from the stairway give me my answer. Don't go down there, you should hide. No way, I can't just hide when you're in danger. The footsteps along the Tenumero, uh, 4, who's coming around down the stairs. He's likely just woken up, and he, but he doesn't seem to be tired at all. Different people than before? You know how to fight, yes? Assist, assist me. So she's the baddie, and he's the buddy. Is that right? Shugetsugu reveals himself uh, just long enough to nod an affirmation. Two against one, huh? Now we're talking. I'm... I know number four is on our tides, but uh, I'm kind of rooted for a debt. Uh, number 11 shows no fear. Chooses a words imply. The protests of this fight uh, have a thrilled. I'm assuming prospects, but I said protests. Just before they can uh, start, a blaring police sirens pierce the walls of the house. They're getting louder and closer. Guess I gotta bounce. Till next time, Alan Scorpion. Mr. CEO, if you prefer. So she was aware. She burst out of the house immediately after uninterested in hearing any replies. The sirens continued for a while afterwards, so I assume she's managed to get away. I'm relieved that one problem has resolved itself, but I have to at least admire her ability to react and make a snap judgement like she did. A neighbour must have called the police, uh, but now do we turn in Alan Scorpion or not? No, that was me. I texted a friend to call them. Really? You can explain things to them. I couldn't bring myself to speak up, let alone move. Number, 11, uh, number 9 was wary of me the entire time, but her... Number 9? Is this a typo? Because it's supposed to be number 11. It'd be interesting, because I think this is the only typo I've ever seen. Give me enough of a window to message Miharu, and give her the address and ask for the, her to call the police. It was a gamble, not knowing that she'd actually check her phone, but the cards were in my favour this time. Why are the police here? Shigetsuga hasn't done anything wrong. Don't worry, sometimes they just visit people, even if they haven't been bad. We should hide so things don't get complicated, though. Agreed. Oh! Alan's hiding with us? I mean, at this point, we could just tell them that Alan and two other people uh, the the kid can describe, you know, what the other two look like, because he's seen uh, number num three, Fred uh, Frederico. Alan's right here, and we've all seen Odette. We pile into Shige Shigetsugu's room just as the police park in for the house. The three of us sit in silence. 
There's something that's so real about me, number four, and Alan all hiding in the room together like this. Yeah, it's an unlikely grouping, I think, definitely. The fact that Alan has agreed it, to it proves that I'm right. He's avoiding the police. I figured that he was a monster before, but his fight with number 11 made it all more clear. Uh, his skills have nothing to do with him being a, a man or his massive build. I'm willing to bet that he could take off an armed officer with on a and win. Sorry, I thought it was on a whim. Uh, but even he doesn't want to turn the entire police force against him. Well, yeah, because even if he wins, that's like solidified as a factual event. Things sort themselves out somehow. Shikatsugu comes along uh, to rescue us from the suffocating silence. I'll be taking my leave then. Oh, and here I uh, was about to heat up some curry. Do you want some? Yay, I've been hungry ever since I got up. Are you serious? That is a good question. Are you serious? Sure. He was a bit rough with me, but hey, he did help us out in the end. I'm sure you won't mind if he gets a taste of your curry. A bit rough. Never you mind. Here, take this. Remove the leftovers from the fridge and pours it into a pot before Alan even gets a chance to answer. Cumin, uh, Carmadon, Tometic? Not bad. I will accept. What? Yeah, I'm. Com yeah, this is what. I'm. I'm just as confused as Rinker is. He takes the seat uh, at the table, an expressionless as ever. As much as I want to flee right now, I'm a bit too concerned now. So numeral twelve isn't a baddie. I mean, technically, to you, everyone's a baddie. But right now. He's not currently, but he might be eventually later. Not for now. See, even well, okay, at least he's honourable enough to, to be the to tell the truth. Not at the current moment. Really? But you're a participant too, aren't you? Indeed. So why'd you protect Shigetsugu? I didn't. Our interest just happens to align. Interest? Indeed. I don't know what that means, but I don't care as long as you're not a baddie. What, I'm, uh, what matters is that you're going to love this curry. It's awesome. I see. Oh ho ho, and I start to panic as I listen to the painful exchange. The lack of emotion on Alan's face makes it impossible to tell uh, when he'll explode over the Murphos acting overly friendly. Yeah, he probably might do, but I also think he's the type to just silently go along with it. Because, I mean, in, I wouldn't say like stereotypes or archetypes or whatever, he'll probably be what well, raised for his company since birth so you'll probably have gotten used to like sitting in board meetings bored as ever to the point where it's like second nature and you can just sit there take in the information not react to it dish out the necessary information without obviously getting negative or oh, sorry the unintended reactions because obviously he'll have to deliver bad news and negative things so what would possess the old man uh, to take in? What? Yeah. What would take the possess the old man to take in such a runt? A runt? I'm referring to you. He found me on the street and decided to take me in because I have amnesia or something. I see. Your body must remember how to carry itself. If you were able to fend off numeral three in such a condition. I don't think you should have said that. I am surprised of how readily he divulges such crucial info. I'll may not be his enemy for now, but that's no reason to go and tell him everything. Um, uh, score. Just use Iran. Where? I wasn't sure how to address him, but he was no time into provo uh, providing a fake name. He must be aware that I know his true name. Uh, I consider him do it. consider doing the same, but I'll leave it alone unless he asks. What are you? Why Aaron? Is this supposed to be like a play? Like, because like, there's obviously there's been like the old jokes of obviously Japanese accents using uh, R's instead of L's, but that feels like that's what the the mix is. I'm gonna stick with Alan. It it just feels it feels less um, you know, weird. And less like potentially dangerous. 
Uh, anyway, I think we should leave that discussion for after we eat. She gets Ugu Butts in and brings uh, over the curry over. You only carry two players ever, uh, since neither him or me will be having any. Uh, Alan nods in response to that proposition. I mean, are we assuming he's... Is he assuming we've not, like, drugged it? When I think about it, Alan's from India. Knowing that someone from the land of curry is about to eat my rendition of it makes me a touch nervous. It's so good. Hmm. My gut sings the moment he takes a bite. There's a huge contrast between the slow, disinterested way he eats in comparison to how number four wolves it down. Wait, why am I nervous at all? Because someone's eating your food. I never expected the similarities to go this far. He's smiling. When I noticed he said something, my eyes met his. My family once bought some curry, uh, curry roe. Because I'm, I'm assuming it's French, and obviously French never really pronounce the X's in their words. From Japan, out of curiosity. Your family like your wife? He glares at me in response. Is that how you fish for information? Maybe. Oh, I honestly didn't mean anything by it, though. I see, well, it's public knowledge that I'm not married. When I say family, I am refer to a relative. Yeah, he does seem like the single type. Uh, thanks for the food. To be fair, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda was... Just something inside, obviously. Just when he said it, uh, like, wife, he was gonna turn around and go, no, a husband, actually. I don't know, obviously, it's because of, like, the fancy clothes, and obviously, like... Yeah, like, the, the, the neat hairstyle and stuff, maybe. Yeah. But again, though, he does have the single type vibe, I guess. But also not at the same time, I guess. I guess that's what the confusion might go from. He's just a man of mystery. Anyway. Uh, the tension is dis uh, dispersed thanks to the out that outburst. Uh, I'm so glad that he has no idea how to read between the lines. I never expected Alan to talk about his family, though. It's pretty normal for most people, but I somehow thought... He was one of the those rare sports who had no attach attachment to them. I mean... Yet, well... Yeah, I guess it's where you're from, really. That aside, I'll assume he didn't think of, uh, the curry tastes bad, since he didn't say anything about it. Uh, is that so odd for me to use a spoon? No, of course not. Uh, I thought... What? The thought hadn't crossed my mind. Thinking about it, I guess I was... Always I do imagine people from India eating curry without utensils. What? What? How how do you, how do people in Japan eat it if it's not with a spoon? Uh, I guess the only way uh, I guess they only do what they they do that when eating uh, with naan. Uh, I. Clearly, my curry knowledge is lacking. Um, but since he's eating Japanese curry, I don't think about that until he brings it up. That looks like uh, the look in his face as he asks, though. It's so meek. I can't help but bursting out in laughter. I see. Japan has a rather narrow minded view of my home country. That's not what I'm laughing at. He seems a little peeved, judging by the tone of his voice. My nerves, uh, coupled with the fact that he's always seemed imposing, uh, impossible to read, makes it all harder to hold back my laughter. He eventually brushes it off and ha hands numeral four his play with a spoon on it to be taken to the sink. Cool. Not long after, Shigetsugu makes tea for all four of us. Thank you, Shigetsugu. Alan takes a whiff of the tea before switching his cup with Shigetsugu's before taking a sip. His face contorts immediately. Oh yeah, because he, now he thinks something is drugged. I can't tell if it's uh, an issue with Shigetsugu's so-called blender or, or Japanese tea in general, but it's more expressive than I expected. Meanwhile, number four is rolling his head around on the table out of boredom until Alan breaks the silence. Shigetsugu. I find your name somewhat difficult to pronounce, but regardless, I agree. He's also smiling weirdly. Uh, not smiling weirdly, but sm weirdly he is smiling. There we go. It goes without saying what I'm here for, doesn't it? 
You have your eyes uh, on our information, correct? Indeed. My intent is to eliminate all of you here, but I'm willing to settle for a less uh, at the moment. Well, call me surprised. And here I was expecting you to threaten all of us into giving you what you wanted. The child mentioned, uh, child mentioned he having amnesia. Should that hold true, I see nothing coming uh, from it from doing so. That applies to you too. I have no evidence, but my gut is telling me that you have no recollection of your own cards either. I'm only putting myself at a disadvantage by being rash. Amazing how he can say that after he body pulled with Keiko. Yeah, that's true. You kind of did kind of bully a pregnant lady. And he thinks that uh, number four is a girl that proves that he, he makes mistakes. Shigatsugu said that Alan's actions seem desperate. I feel like that applies to even more to what he did to Keiko. So he's, he's going after specifically people who have his cards, I think. However, I'm not surprised that uh, that not knowing the content of your own cards could work out well for me th like this. I guess that's true, yeah. I didn't actually think about that, because... But someone has our cards somewhere. I'm assuming number 9, since we haven't actually met number 9 yet. As for Alan's comments, number 4 is the first to respond. Hang on a minute, that means you were one to eliminate Shigatsugu. Yes. I won't let that happen, you're a baddie from here on out. Hmm. Yeah. Calm down. Pretel, what do you plan on doing and should I refuse to cooperate? That is, honestly, a good question. You'll likely know the answer. I have no intention of leaving empty handed. I knew it. Let me let me at him. No, I wanna see uh, I don't wanna see you two get hurt. I don't wanna see you want to hurt one another. Besides. You'd go after her first, wouldn't you, Aaron? Alan, sorry. I don't doubt that. I'm ready to make my escape whenever necessary, but I don't doubt I could even reach the hall safely should Alan target me for real. I could negotiate him uh, thanks to the info I have on Shigatsugu, but right now I'd much rather maintain the status quo. Yeah, I think everyone would, to be fair. Because, like, you know, peace uh, to work together. We're holding this. Well, what, three eliminations in? There's the three of us here, besides Alan. Uh, we have Miharu on our side, so that's four out of eight, I think. Yeah, there's those four. Those four. You've got Odette and Federico, Alan, and the missing number nine. So unless we're missing someone, because uh, the people who have been eliminated was just a random kid in the first one. I see a random kid. She was a young lady, I guess, which Alan eliminated. It was Keiko, Poe, and... Someone else. Oh yeah, and then uh, Sonia. That's four people who's been eliminated, so that's the eight of us left. So, by the sounds of it, un unbeknownst to the three other people in this room, Rinka has the most allies. Anyway. Boom. Did I... I don't even know if I read that or not. Uh, I'm fine with revealing my information to you, but only under one condition, which would be... I want you to serve as our bodyguard until my elimination. Your job would be to keep this house safe, especially from number 11. In similar terms, I ask you to protect both myself and this child. I assume... Let's assume I agree with these terms. How do you plan on dealing with the other issue? He guess this gears over to me. Fine, I'll uh, refrain from electing him if you do agree from uh, to go along with this. Why even bother? Shigatsugu doesn't uh, need anyone but me to protect him. The kid's visibly flustered. But it's Alan who opts to respond. Are you that delusional? What's that supposed to mean? Shigatsugu proposes this to avoid putting you in harm's way. It's for me. It's not only the... Uh, I'm not the only one who, who caught that, huh? You wouldn't happen to have a family you're close to, would you? Uh, I will not qualify that with... Do you mean validate that with a response? Uh... Is he right, Shigatsugu? Of course he is. Strong as you may be, that doesn't make it any less distressing to see you get hurt. But if I, uh, but if I beat him up, then don't overestimate yourself. You may be a child, but I would not hold nothing back if I fought you. The chances of something happening to you are just too high. It's clear that Shigatsugu has sees him as family. There's a direct parallel to what you'd say. 
What he's saying now to Keiko's actions when Alan took over her son hostage. Alan's face is exp as expressionless as ever, so I can't, I can't tell if he's created this situation on purpose or if it's mere coincidence. Shigetsugu. I figured you'd be happy if uh, I took down all the baddies for you. If you really want to protect me, then why don't you take all, all these, their, all their cards? For the same reason, I don't want you fighting others. It's not as simple as you think. Save this argument for later. I'm willing to accept your first condition, but only if you provide room for me to stand. He clarifies his reasoning after seeing Shigetsugu's surprise. I have the luxury of doing as I please here, so being provided with somewhere to stay for a few days in exchange isn't a bad deal. Very well. Of course, you'll need to accept my second condition as well. I'm aware. Whatever. Numeral 4 stands up in mid-conversation, almost in a deliberate attempt to interrupt them. I don't care anymore. Hey. He leaves the room immediately. Alan doesn't seem phased, but the same can't be said for a Shigetsugu. Pardon me, could you give us a moment? There's no reason to worry about his safety on the streets at night, but it's entirely possible that he could start something with the police if they approach him. Leaving Alan, uh, leaving Alan here uh, by himself is too risky, though. It's pretty much scary to sit in the, uh, all alone with him, but I stay behind regardless. Good grief. I have to admit, you've struck me as a far less reasonable person. It looks like I must have, might have misjudged you. I see. Perhaps buying time through conversation isn't the best idea, since I'm no good at it. But and it makes it and he makes a point as he says a little as possible. Ten minutes passes and not a single word in, in exchange. Alan sits in silence. Oh, sorry. Alan sits silent. The only action of note is when he blinks. I thought it'd be okay, but it's starting to get to me. Rinka, I have a question for you. Yeah? He's so abrupt, uh, he's so abrupt that I struggled not to jump out of my skin. What's your exact goal here? Your actions don't strike me as someone who wants to live through this ordeal. I can't say he's wrong. I never stopped uh, going to school after the, the divine selection began. Not like he knows that. He's likely uh, basing his claim off the way I've involved myself with other participants. In all honesty, I'm not even sure how I ended up in this situation myself. But what I do know is that it's all been due to my own judgement. As often as I've questioned how much I've, my life is worth, I've never once resi uh, yeah, resigned to the idea that I'm fine with being eliminated. When I put all that together, it's an easy answer to his question. I want to live. I want to make it through this. My actions may seem roundabout from your point of view, but this is just me staying true to who I am. I'm sure of it. These may be ex extraordinary circumstances, but I'm not built to adapt to them. Average is, is all I know. I'm e easily influenced and prone to strike, uh, prone to sticking my nose into what I shouldn't. That's me. That's what defines uh, Shushim, uh, sh yeah, Shishimai Rinka. I shouldn't have bothered to ask. The look in your eyes at the hospital told me all I needed. Maybe it's my imagination, but I think he sees. But I think I see him throw a faint smile as he says that. Yeah, he's smiling. In that case, I look forward to seeing how far that mindset can take you. For now, there's little point in pressing you for information that you have no memory of. Who told you that? It's logical to assume that you forgot the contents of your own cards along with the rules of divine selection. Perhaps not knowing your cause of death or regret makes it easier for you to act the way you do. The same goes for, uh, for that child. But it doesn't have little choice but to focus on eliminating others in order to learn about themselves. It really was that obvious that I'd forgotten everything about the Divine Selection during my first visit to the Court of Fate. Especially after my discussion with Miharu and needing Parker to explain things over and for me from scratch. Had he taken the responsibility to forget my own cards into consideration ever since? What? Did you agree to uh, Shigetsuku's terms in hopes of finding out more about the kids? I didn't, but now that you mention it, it does uh, make it for a decent plan. 
He only seems the type to reveal important information when one least expects it. Oh yeah, that one seems the type, okay. Perhaps while asleep. Considering, uh, considering the amnesia, dream can serve as a bridge to fill memories deep, buried deep in, within the psyche. That may be a bit too convenient, but your point still stands. Cutting the conversation off. Uh, yes, seems wise. The last thing I want him is somehow to extract information about Miharu from me. He set it up so that everyone thinks that we've had a falling out, but at this rate, I might end up spilling the beans on that and more. I think with that though, I have to call it there. An interesting conversation with Alan. Yeah, if you're having fun, I'll let me know. Uh, you know, if you want to keep going, same thing. And hopefully I can see you on the next one. With that, goodbye.